Today I'll be talking about how you can find easier lobbies in Modern Warfare 2 so you can do things like this. If you've been watching streamers or YouTubers play this game, you might notice that pretty much everyone in their lobby doesn't even have a brain. And this is for very obvious reasons, so in today's video I'll be showing you guys exactly how they do this, and I'll also be giving you guys a few methods that you can try in order to get some easier lobbies. As always, I like to get straight to the point around here and make my videos short and simple, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you enjoy. The most common method that a lot of these streamers and YouTubers use is basically a method where they get a second console and they get a new account and on this new account they will basically hop into a couple of matches and die a few times and pretend to be a really bad player. This will basically put that account into very very easy lobbies against players who don't have any brain cells. And once they're in that game they will join that game off of their main account through the friends list. And then they'll be in that lobby with all of the people who pretty much have not even played a single match. This is definitely the most common method that pretty much pretty much every single streamer, if you see a streamer or a YouTuber dropping like loads of kills, getting nukes, they are 100% doing this. The skill based matchmaking in this game is one of the heaviest skill based matchmaking systems we have ever seen, so if they were actually that good, they would be getting into the most sweatiest lobbies to exist. Now that you guys know how the YouTubers do it, I'm actually going to show you guys a couple of different methods that you can try yourself that doesn't require that, but this should hopefully result in some easier lobbies. This next method has been around for years and it's been a very popular technique for a while where people use to get easier lobbies. So basically whenever you are playing with a friend or in a party, you basically want the lowest KD player to actually host the match. Because the lowest KD player is hosting, this should result in you getting into the lower KD lobbies. Now on this game you cannot see KD at the moment, but you should be able to soon once they update it. So at the moment you'll just have to guess who has the lowest KD, which might offend some of your friends. The next method I have for you guys is a method that is pretty decent, but this method isn't very consistent. It is good and it works extremely well, but it doesn't last forever. So one of the most popular techniques that a lot of these bigger YouTubers do as well before they actually go for a gameplay is play about five matches before that match and they will basically do really, really bad. They'll run around, get about one kill and then let the enemies kill them like 20 times and this will basically trick the system into thinking you are a bad player and then after a few games of doing this, you should get put into really, really good lobbies for about five matches. But after that, you'll have to keep doing it over and over again. This method does work extremely good and it does actually result in you getting into some really good lobbies against some really like bad players. However, like I said, it doesn't work all the time because once you start doing good again, the game is going to obviously recognize that and it will start putting you back into the correct lobbies again. So you will have to keep doing it, which might take a while to set up because obviously you have to play about three to five matches doing bad in order to get put into bad lobbies. But it's something you could try and it, it is actually a good method. The next method I found is definitely going to help. I've tested this and the lobbies do seem 10 times easier. So basically what you want to do for this method is use the quick play setting, but you want to make sure you have every single game mode selected. So go to your game modes, select every single game mode, and this will basically put you into games against newer players. Now the reason for this is because Obviously, when someone just gets the game and when they are newer at the game, this is basically going to be one of the first things that newer players will select. Newer players probably won't even know how to filter the game mode, so you're going to be put into lobbies against players who are just less experienced at the game. If you search for quick play and you only select kill confirmed, for example, this is going to put you into a lobby against people who have also done the same thing. And if they have specifically picked kill confirmed and only kill confirmed, obviously they know what they're doing and obviously they're probably pretty decent players. So it's definitely something to consider. I've tested this a few times and the lobbies I got from the quick play games where I didn't filter any game modes were definitely noticeably easier and the levels were a lot lower. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.